Hey guys, so before we start this video, I just wanted to talk to you really quick and let you know we are trying something new with this video and that is there is going to be some bloopers at the end. Now I will also warn you that although most of my footage always has no cursing, bloopers are the exception. So let me know if you think uh, I should be putting bloopers at the end of some videos in the comment section down below and enjoy the video. Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a video on why I believe that Nova and Samsung have already done a better job at recent apps and home screen gestures than Google Android P has. So let's get to the bottom of this. So first of all, Android P, it's a brand new OS. And one of the biggest things is that when you swipe up now, depending on how you do it, there we go. Uh, you can do this swipe up from any app and what it allows you to do is see all of your recent apps. So if I go to an app and then I swipe up from the bottom, I have this here. You also have your most uh, frequently used app, the apps that Google thinks you're gonna use. This is still a home button, so you just tap it to go home. And if you swipe up as you saw all the way, then you get the ability to still go to your app drawer. Here's my thing about it. I like this a lot better because of several reasons. So one, with Nova, you can actually program a mid swipe. So I can go like this and now go to all my apps. So a lot easier to go through all your recent apps this way. Not to mention that I can go from the bottom and still go to all my apps. I think that's a much cleaner, simpler solution. And again, more productive. And you're gonna hear me say that a lot because this really isn't productive. It looks nice but this is Android, not iOS, right? So let's get to this one. Now, one thing that Samsung allows you to do, which I really love, is the list view. This allows me to have a lot more apps on screen, especially when you compare it to this. I have one app per screen, are you joking? How often do I have to copy and paste something comparing to just being able to see a lot of apps and go through it? Not to mention one of the biggest missteps that Google has done in Android P that not a lot of people are talking about is they remove the close all button. There is no close all button now on this, whereas of course you still always have one on here. That is stupid. It is a step backwards and it's something that Android P needs to address before they become Android Popsicle or whatever they're gonna be called. But I think this is just so much better. I have way more ability to jump between my apps a lot quicker and more easily. I also have the ability to have this style, which I did like, so I decided to change it, that if I swipe up in the middle of the screen, I have all my apps, and if I swipe down at the bottom, anywhere on the bottom, I have the app drawer. This is a lot easier and more intuitive than, wait, wait, there we go, okay. Or, no, like, it's, it's just not as intuitive. And I hate that I can't do anything from the middle. It really is just not as good. Not to mention, of course, you can also do the gesture pull down uh, from the middle of the screen to get your notification shade. This is with Samsung and Nova, and I think this is the current best setup for multitasking on the home screen, as well as how to just get to all of your apps, how to make them look, and how to get to your app drawer. I think it's all just a lot better off than this new gesture thing, which honestly just doesn't feel as productive. It feels like a step backwards in my opinion. Does it look great? Absolutely, it looks great. But again, this is Android. I think Google's forgetting that sometimes. All right guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you as always for watching and make sure to check out all of our other Android P because there are some things I really like about this, but there's definitely things I don't like about this. So check out all of our other coverage on it. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're going to be towing a video. Very simple and easily. You can also swipe more and then if you do it correctly, get the app drawer. And now you can do this also by, if you swipe down, <sighs> fucking hell. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about the best features of the new Android P update. And I do like the fact that you can now swipe up and you have this ability. What the fuck are you doing? Fuck you, fuck you. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. 
And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.